Alright, so, hi guys. I'm gonna be doing a quick review of this particular game right here on the screen. Um, in case you do not know what this game is, this game is called Ikeni no Yoru. Um, not gonna play it because it is a big hassle. The game is actually very, very dark. Anyways, hi guys. Um, anyways, that game screen that you just saw was this game, Ikeni no Yoru, which is a new Wii game. Um, released about a week and a half ago, I guess. It's a horror game, um, first person styled horror game, um, made by Marvelous Entertainment. Yay. Um, so, this game, very, very quick review, um, first edition came with a cell phone strap that's supposed to be a good luck charm, but it's pitch black and it looks like it can curse you any day. Anyways, um, First things, controls. Um, you can actually control it with the remote control or the Wii board. Um, Wii board is meant if you totally want to have a friend that chickens out really quickly to play it because it's very, very funny. Um, anyways, as for the Wii controls, um, very, very simple. Um, the first play, you can actually have two controllers. Second controller will basically, uh, freeze a ghost for about three seconds and you can have that you can just kind of give it to your friend if you just kind of whip out in the middle anyway um first player controls are very very easy a being the flashlight you can turn it on or off um you'll probably need to turn it off at certain points sometime um down key right here is moving backwards the minus button is a cell phone button um because cell phone the cell phone uh, uh, sometimes catches stuff. Button number one is the pause button. B button in the back is the walk slash run button. If you hold it down, it's going to be walk. Um, if you just tap it once, it's going to walk. If you double click it really, really fast, um, it it'll become run. Um, and since the objective of the game is running away from ghosts, you're going to get couple tunnel syndrome on your finger. Um, yay. Anyways, um, story-wise, there are three different, uh, when you start the game, you're only going to get a prologue. Prologue is the tutorial. You actually have to do the tutorial before you actually get to play the game. Um, before the tutorial, I believe you are allowed to, you are given a chance to name five characters. Um, their default names are the colors that they are colored in, and there are five. Um, oh, what the heck, I'll just say the colors. Um, the main character is blue, the girl that he likes is yellow, um, there is a pink, uh, pink is Red's girlfriend, Red is the bully, black is the guy who, uh, invites you to his summer house or something. So, total of five. Um, right after the prologue, you get, you automatically go, get another, uh, unlocked, and that you uh, unlock the epilogue, strangely enough. Um, it's after everything has happened, so you don't really understand what's going on, um, anyways. Um, apparently in the epilogue there are six chapters, um, but you are only allowed to play five of them until the very, very end. Um, so, um, as for those epilogue stories, you actually have to clear them to unlock the main story, um, and... The main story is divided into three characters plus a final stage. Um, the three characters are blue, yellow, and black. Um, those are the three characters you are allowed to play as. Um, it's going to be first person style, so you're probably not going to be able to tell, but anyways, three. Um, in total, there's probably about 23 stages. It's a very, very short game. Um, each stage is about, or is less than five minutes long if you actually just kind of go straight through it. Um, it's really a game for those who don't really have time, I guess. Um, those people who like horror games that don't have enough time, I mean. Um, story-wise, it's really, really blah, really. Um, there's not really much of a story to it, um, it's not the greatest story ever. I actually like Calling better than this particular game. Um, I guess that's really about it, much that I can say. 
um, because I don't really want to spoil the stories to you guys. Um, anyways, it's pretty much, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, I do highly recommend that you play it with a friend or so. Um, it's always fun to watch your friend's expression and how they hold the controller and whip out or something. Um, maximum of three people, I guess, because, um, when one flips out, you can kind of switch off to the other. And it's not so many people that you, you start going into guilds, so. Yeah, anyways. Three people should be playing it at the same time, at maximum, because it's pretty interesting. And, so anyways, that was my little quick review regarding Bikini no Yoru. Um, not sure when it's going to be released in the US, but if you guys have the time, maybe you should check it out. Um, but, if it's going to, if you're going to ask me if the retail price is just, I'm not going to say so. It's, it's really not worth it. I'd probably get it for like 30 or something, seriously, because it's not that great. So, anyways, that was my quick little video game review for the day. Anyways, I'll catch you guys again. Bye-bye.